Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 27, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our online trades, and also our courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation ETF, and as you can see, we're up well, 3.18% at this current stage. So Tesla is, um, is going to pronounce its earnings after the market is basically closed. And, uh, well, expectations for that are basically all over the place. So we'll just have to see what basically those earnings will say. But uh, Tesla is down quite a bit the last few months. And, uh, and you can also see the CDF is also down quite a bit uh, basically this year since the mid february it fell all the way down towards roughly 33 percent so it lost a quarter of uh, or a third of its value so yes it has not really recovered yet it has recovered give or take 20 percent of that and there's it's far off from its very highs but if you look at other technical indicators we can see that macd is approaching positive territory above the signal line RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, and Stochastic is bullish. So indicators are basically favoring the upside at this current stage. We have actually been rallying from um, 116 all the way up to 127. And if we manage to break above the 100 moving average and basically close above the 100 moving average, then we could go and retest um, or target the previous highs again, which are all, of, all the way up here at 160. That's far away. We actually been just trading sideways. And when we have gotten towards the middle of the bullish band or even the top of the bullish band, this has tended to pull back. But let's see what basically happens here. So let's look at the DVI. So DVI has rallied, uh, well, not, the, uh, not that much, to be fairly honest. We we're just uh, hanging at the same place where we started today. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still in a bullish uh, or bearish downtrend. And we have the RSI, which is flat. The CCI is flat. And the stochastic is kind of just hanging around here. You could basically say it's flat as well. So we're also in the middle of nowhere here in the bullish band. Preferable at the top to... Um, we're basically just in the middle of the uh, of things. Uh, we have the middle of the, middle of the bullish band here and the top of the bullish band here and we're just in the middle so we're, technically we need a pullback towards the 20 exponential or the middle of the bullish band in order to enter this market and um, yes that is basically what i'm waiting for it's kind of like similar to this one is uh, is preferable otherwise uh, we are still in an uptrend and we're quite far away from basically the top of this range. We are basically trading sideways for quite some time. So we need some uh, signs uh, to show us whether or not we are going to the upside or towards the downside. So let's look at VTI. So very similar here in VTI, we are, technical indicators are very bullish for this uh, ETF. You can see that the MACD is way above zero and we are above the signal line the same is for the rsi is very bullish the same is the cci is bullish and also the stochastic is bullish we're approaching the top of the bullish band here and also the top of the very range and that is uh 220 and there is most likely where we'll find major resistance and probably a pullback so yes that is basically what i'm waiting for because the 20 50 and 40 exponential have all offered major support and at this current stage it is fairly overstretched and uh, a pullback is technically what is needed in this market. So let's look at MHI. So this really rallied last three trading days of last week, Wednesday, Thursday and on Friday, and then just, just completely collapsed today. So we're down 1% and um, yes, at this point, it looks like we're going to test down 200 moving average again uh, down here at 80. So if you look at technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is underneath zero, but it's bullish. It's above the signal line. Uh, RSI is uh, bearish. The CCI is becoming bearish and the stochastic is bullish at this point. We're hovering just above the middle of the bullish band. And if that breaks, then we could drop all the way down to the very bottom at 80.52. So 
yes, rallies towards the 100 moving average have actually been sold into. We can see it here, and we also saw it here. We didn't really get very close to the 100 moving average, but 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 this area, give or take at give or take 184, is major resistant. So let's look at IBB. So we're approaching the very top of this range, uh, both the upper uh, the channel and also the top of the bullish band. And we are also on the edge of being overbought. Technical leaders like the MACD are basically flat. We're in positive territory. And the CCI is bullish and the stochastic is bullish, but a pullback towards support at the 20 exponential at 411 or the 40 exponential at 403 or the 50 at 399 that is basically what uh, i'm waiting for here in order to enter this market buy it at this stage is fairly fairly risky as we're getting fairly overstretched in this market so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios and you're welcome to join us over a patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much Thank you.